But you know, you spend all your time cooking that delicious meal, but what about the presentation? I bet people forget about that a we're lot. We're talking about Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We're all looking forward to it, at least I am. Oh, so yeah. create a centerpiece in moments for your Thanksgiving dinner with ideas from Tanya Costigan. She's the owner of Tanya Costigan Events, and she's here with us to share three do-it-yourself, mm -hmm. easy, last-minute tablescape ideas. That's right. Now um, we're starting yeah. with the first one now. Yes. Now what's this one here? So this is kind of like an elegant candlelit um, tablescape that's easy to do last minute. You can find candles everywhere, even at the grocery store, um, local dollar bargain stores or anything like that. So it's really like a really easy, easy thing to do. And I want to say it was truly a last minute thing because I, I really got all this stuff yesterday. So it really? really is like doable, yes. And it didn't take you a ton of time. No, nope, not you the at all. Day. Before we get into the nitty gritty, before we get into uh, like the, the items, what do you want for a general layout? Because I see it's, it's really well done here. What are some tricks for that? Yeah, well, it depends on the shape of your table. So if you have you know, a longer table like this, a nice table runner would be something that you would want to go with in just kind of like you know, a longer tablescape. If you had a round table, um, you could still do a runner if you wanted to, but you might want to make a little more of a vignette in the middle of the table as opposed to spreading it out so much. Mm -hmm. you. Yeah, because you got to make room for food. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to have a lot exactly. of food. At least I know in my house, I'll make sure to have food. Let's talk about the nitty gritty now. Okay. So I see fresh cranberries. Now, mm -hmm. you can make a simple cranberry sauce, which we learned earlier on Mass Appeal a couple weeks yeah. ago. Tune in. Or, to see that. You can put them in here. Right, so you can fill, um, I really, I got these um, vases also at a dollar bargain store locally um, and just went to the grocery store and, you know, thought of things that are festive to the holiday that would, you know, look nice to display some candles on. So um, we've got some cranberries here, we've got some chestnuts here that I also got at the grocery store and there are other things you could put in there like cinnamon sticks or even like dried popcorn kernels that you haven't popped yet. I mean, anything that's kind of like fall and festive that, you know, if you don't have time to go to the grocery store to get it if you might have laying around the house. Right. Worst case, go outside and pick some leaves up off yeah. the ground and stuff them in a vase. Yeah, That's or, my kind of decorating. That's, not bad, that's the ultimate last minute. That's, <laughs> right. That's people are in the driveway last minute. Or if the squirrels <laughs> haven't eaten all the acorns, grab those there out you of your go. front yard. <laughs> easy, easy. And you know, if your pumpkins aren't rotten yet, I just threw mine away because they were. But if they're not, you can use those to decorate or just go out and pick up some new ones, right? Right, exactly. These are uh, really inexpensive too this time of year. I think yeah. they peaked around Halloween and now you can yeah. get them for a song. Exactly. I got these at the grocery store. They were like a couple dollars. Now you're you know. going to be quite a busy lady because we have two more tablescapes. So That's you're right. going to take all this out, put another one in. But I guess that That's just right. shows how easy it is too. It doesn't yeah, take a lot exactly. of time or effort. Right. Very cool. So you do that. Mm -hmm. We're going to check in with 22 Storm. <laughs> No Stress November continues. We're back with Tanya Costigan. She's the owner of Tanya Costigan Events. And we're here for the second Thanksgiving tablescape idea. Now, the first was the elegant and festive, which mm -hmm. was kind of all about candles. Now right. it's all about the flowers. Right, definitely. So flowers are another staple that are that are easy to find, um, either at a local florist shop or a grocery store, something that you can pick up last minute. Mm -hmm. So um, you can stick with one flower like we have, you know, had done here. Um, and you can use like things you might have around the house like if you have any like decorative crates or you know something like that you can use it to kind of give it some volume on the table um, but that's I, a good idea yeah. I love this look it's so cute yeah it's a little rustic and homey and yeah yeah I, I it like looks... it it's not too you know over the top yeah. with the elegance especially right. if you're kind of doing a more like cozy Casual. family yeah definitely Thanks. So um, what I'm going to show you is, um, you know, I'm not claiming to be a florist at all whatsoever, but that's the point, that anybody can definitely make a flower arrangement at last minute. So um, I just want to show you, so like if you were to grab like a variety of flowers, like sometimes they have the pre-mixed bunches at the grocery store. Yes. Um, and then um, I just take off the leaves. Some people might like the leaves and that's fine, um, but I always take them all off. It just makes for like a cleaner arrangement, I think. Cleaner, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna, you know, to kind of show, well, you're going to show people yeah. how to make that clean centerpiece. Right, and so once I get all the leaves off, um, you know, I just kind of take off small chunks and then I sand it next to it. And you, you just kind of do that until you get it to the right height that you're looking for. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> and I run away, cut it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. All right, and then when I arrange them, um, you, if you do it at like 12, 3, 6, and 9, and then you just kind of work inwards from there, um, it's going to give you a nice full bouquet. So I started off with the roses here, and then um, some little mums that you can t 
to add in here. And you've already cut those to yeah, be the same these, yeah, height? Exactly. So it only takes a few minutes to cut them, and it's kind of fun <laughs> if you do it. Yeah. See, I've never thought to actually arrange them. I mean, that's why it's yeah. called a flower arrangement. I usually just take the whole bouquet and just throw just them in a vase. But yeah. it, it is nice, especially that you took off all the leaves because it does allow for a more cleaner look. So right. you put the mums in there. Yeah. And then you fill it in with more roses. Right. So then you'll just you'll keep building it up around and. You know, don't worry about it looking too perfect right away because you can always, once every flower is in here, you just tweak it and fluff it the way you want to. Okay. Um, I yeah. really, I'm, not, I'm no, definitely no, no. not good at this. So just, okay. yeah. Stick it in. And you don't have to be good at it. You know, okay. flowers are going to be pretty anyways, That's right? That's true. You, yeah, it's kind of hard to mess up beautiful flowers. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll, we can add some more mums. This is such a gorgeous color, too. It yeah. It brings such a nice pop to the table. Definitely. I don't know what's happening. That's okay. I it's kind of, if you put them in more at like a diagonal. Oh, I, there yeah, you go. It can help. Sometimes a little tricky. These, you gotta, little, these little you tricks, gotta work right? at it a little bit, but yeah, you just keep building it if you want to add like a mum maybe somewhere. And then, um, oh, and then you just yeah, keep adding you just keep to it. Going and these and little these little vases are so cute. You know, mm -hmm. whether you get them as a gift with a flower arrangement or right. whatever it may be, they're nice to keep. Or you can go to a dollar store or a secondhand store. Exactly. And they have plenty. Oh my gosh! And for like from. almost nothing to get them. So, so last <clears> minute, <throat> go pick up some flowers, and it will be be a gorgeous way to dress up your Thanksgiving right. table. Right, definitely. And just add maybe a couple candles and you're good to go. How pretty. Well, we have one more idea to yep. go, which I have to say is my favorite. Yeah. And I'm looking forward See, to it. Yeah. So we're going to keep you anticipating what that could possibly be. Right. Thank you, Tata. We'll be back with you. Still ahead. We're down to the third tablescape idea with Tanya Costigan. She's the owner of Tanya Costigan Events. Now, we already covered the festive and elegant, mm -hmm. the floral centerpiece. Right. And now, tell us what this display is. Um, this one I call Thankful for Family. And it's just um, something that's so super easy because you probably have pictures around your house of loved ones and friends and family. And um, if you don't, now is a good time to get the app to send those unprinted photos in your phone over to a, a local drugstore or something that does photo printing so easy and then you just go pick them up you can get some frames from a local dollar store and I like frame the them flames are very can. eclectic too yeah so different sizes is a little appealing and um, interesting and you know people will like to enjoy looking at the photos maybe they haven't even seen them yet and um, when you have guests coming over you could even invite them to bring photos of their family and they can that's add it cool to the idea. table yeah I Very love nice. that because yeah. that's really what you're grateful for mm -hmm. is the love in your life. And so to yes. have that on display around you, it, it reminds you what that's all about. Right. And I think we can get caught up in the Black Friday deals on Thanksgiving, yeah. which we shouldn't. It's, right. You know, I mean, unless that's your thing. But yeah. it really is what it's all about is being together. Right. And also, Tanya, you did mention you can get frames at the dollar store. Yeah. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on the display. Right. Exactly. It's so super easy. And now the other things that you've done here, obviously, we, we reuse these pumpkins and the gourds. Mm -hmm. And this is really cool. It's, it's foliage without, uh, like you were uh, alluding to earlier, mm -hmm. going uh, to your front yard and grabbing all the leaves. I this have is, plenty. This is fake I have foliage. Plenty. Yeah. This is fake. I got this at a local craft store. Um, but even if you did find some leaves outside, you could scatter them along the edges. And with or without the leaves, even just with the pictures, you know, it's something special, I think. Yeah, it, it's, it's an easy way to make it look really presentable mm -hmm. and beautiful. Right. And if you have guests seated on both sides of the table, which I imagine you would, you could make it double-sided. So you could do, you know, photos facing this way and then photos facing that way. Yeah, and it could be a buffet table, too, which is neat, yeah, right? Have true. all the dishes right here. And just a word of caution, because we, we see these stories every year. Something goes wrong if someone has a candle lit mm -hmm. in somewhere like a bathroom or something like that. So just everybody at home, uh, be really hi hypersensitive of where your, where your candles are. If there's yeah. kids around, make sure that they know about it, because we want to uh, stave off any accidents that might happen. And you could always here. do the LED candles if you, you know, wanted to avoid that hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're go. really pretty, too. Yeah. They really do give a nice ambiance, and they're mm -hmm. affordable. Now, the, the napkins over there, how did you make them look so pretty, rolled up well, like that? Easily, um, really, you just lay it out like when they're a flat square. I used two just to give it a little more bulk. Um, and then the guests could have one for dinner, one for dessert, or something like that. Um, you just lay it out in a square, put your hand underneath, like right at the center, and grab the center, really, and just slide the napkin ring right over it. It just gives a little volume to the table. It's so easy. Seth's going to try Let's it. Let's see if I can do it. All right. Yeah. So 
we so grab the napkin. Right. Center, like so. Right. And then we just put this over it. Yep. So, yep. And then just pull it right through. That's so easy. You know, pull it as far down. I yeah, would have tried to do some kind fancy of roll it. thing. Yeah. This is fancy it that I can do. It makes it look fancy, but it's so super easy. And you know oh, it's easy if I can do great. this fancy. Yeah. Very cool. So we do, well, you shared three different mm -hmm. last minute tablescape ideas for your meal. And it doesn't have to be for Thanksgiving. It could be during any nice get together with right. friends and family. Exactly. Now, earlier in the show, in case